Well, traders, I'm done trading today. As you can see here, I'm up $140,000 and some change in my open trade. And again, the big winner today is Tesla. And as I mentioned earlier, if I, if I had a Tesla for every day I traded Tesla, I should have had a very big garage. And, <laughs> and that one just adds another space in my garage, the one I will never buy. Anyway, uh, Tesla was great. Let's quickly go over my trades today. And um, I do hope you guys uh, joined me on my Tesla trade. Actually, if you did join me in my Tesla trade, why don't you just write yes or why or something? I want to see if any of you took uh, Tesla with me. Uh, that would make uh, <laughs> me feel better. Uh, yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, yes are going on here. Uh, great, great, great. That's very nice. Happy to see that. So... Um, I did promise you today that Tesla is going to come down under the low and that turned out to be the right uh, game to play. You know, Tesla started with a big gap up today. The market did not start with a big gap up. Actually, the market started around zero, a bit down. Initially, I saw the market coming down. So for me, the perfect trade was to trade short Tesla today sometime. I did not know when the time is going to come out. I did know that a daily like Tesla. And if you were at the pre-market uh, session with Yogi and you probably heard Yogi and Amir and other analysts saying Tesla is a short candidate and you're probably wondering why Tesla is a short candidate. And I did post it as one of my short picks today pre-market time, although it was gapping up 2%. And that's because we were looking at the daily of Tesla and just look at this spinning dodgy over here that looks like it's calling for a pullback. I'm not saying Tesla's going to crash. I'm just saying too many people bought Tesla recently. And if somebody's asking you, like your friends and your girlfriends and whoever on your family is calling you up and asking, should we buy Tesla because now it's going sky high? Well, the thing that should come on your mind is the first thing that should come on the mind of every experienced trader. If everybody wants to go long Tesla, I should be shorting it. And that's why. And that's because the market is working in an opposite way as a trader. The market is working in an opposite way to what ordinary, let's call them this way, people think. So if people are, if the majority of people thinking Tesla should go up, Tesla should come down. At some time it becomes like a second nature. At some time it becomes like very clear to you. Uh, you just short a stock that everybody else think is going to go higher. You don't really think about it. And that's what really happened to me. I had to explain that right now to you, although I do not have to explain it to myself. You see the market starting down. You see Tesla's daily. You see Tesla's gapping up. The, 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 the natural thing to do is to short Tesla. And my first call was short under 2057, I believe it was right over here. It looked like it may be failing, but it was more like trying to go higher a bit more. But you know, when Tesla is up that much, and again, take a look at the daily, that calls for profit taking. That does not call for buying more Tesla. It calls for making money from Tesla coming down. I did promise you you're going to see Tesla under the, sh under the lows today. And I did stand to my promise. We did come down. <laughs> the rest, I don't know. Didn't promise you anything about what comes next in Tesla. I was asked by some of you guys whether we should have traded Tesla long at the opening. Well, as you can see from the results, yes, that looked like a great opportunity to go long, but an extremely dangerous, extremely dangerous trade. The short opportunity was less dangerous. I mean, <laughs> can you say something which isn't dangerous about trading Tesla? No, probably you can't. Both of them were, were, were dangerous trades. But, you know, basically, when you see a daily like that, the, the, the little bit more safe opportunity would be to short Tesla. And that's what we did. We did short Tesla today. Not only that we shorted it here. Once we saw it was failing, and it came down again under 2060, we added to that short. And that turned out to be, uh, I don't know, 35 point winner, whatever it was. And um, waited until it came down under the lows, as I promised you. And then we took our partial and the rest, well, just didn't work out. I had another $10,000 open in Tesla short, which turned out to be a small loser. 
but anyway, I closed it at my entry, approximately at my entry point, and that was it with Tesla today. As you can see, Tesla is just going sideways. The rest is unknown. So if you keep on trading Tesla today, well, let me just hope you don't because you don't really know what's coming next. This is a Friday. It's an option expiration day. You don't expect the market to move much. Usually on option expiration days, you expect the market to move on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and then it comes down on, comes down on, down on Thursdays and Fridays. And you do not expect the market to do much, although it is uptrending right now, but don't expect to do much because we're already done over the first one hour. So not expecting the market to do much. My other trades were today uh, PDD, uh, which I did short here. That was the right call, although it did move over the highs. And that happens sometimes. You kept, you, 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 you could have heard me saying it's going to fail today and I'm waiting for it to finally fail. And it did fail because I was waiting for my second trade in PDD. And that was a perfect setup here for short, as you can see here, which we took and added under 86, which worked out nicely too. Uh, the end result is not that great. I'm only up $200. And that's because I had uh, a first losing trade and then just covered my first loser with a, with a winner, which, I mean, end result. Uh, I do have another $100 open or something like that in my open trades. Uh, so, and, and of course, Fiverr. Fiverr was not wrong. I did call it for a short here at 117. Um, I did not get a good feel. Therefore, I did not take my partial which, where I should have had at the lows because it did move down uh, almost one and a half point from the point where I planned my entry. So it did well. It's a gap and go. It behaved the right way, but I was not quick enough and I was not quick enough getting in and I was not quick enough getting out. And that is my mistake. So calling it for a short was the right call. Um, getting out, getting in and out where I should have, that was wrong. So as you can see here, uh, I should have uh, traded a bit differently and I do have a loser because uh, it moved higher. Uh, I did have one mistake, uh, the fact that I did not notice the volume. Well, I couldn't really know at the beginning. I thought it's going to have more volume. But right now, as you can see, it has uh, almost 500,000 shares in volume and you would expect it to have more than double net so that is a bit of a problem and anyway i've got a six thousand a bit more loser in fiverr so uh one winner one loser in pdd one loser in fiverr uh, i could say two winners in tesla because we added and the end result of course is a huge winner in tesla hope you guys enjoyed I was away for two weeks, unbelievable. Came back with a winner, <laughs> Not more than a winning day. So <laughs> um, I did enjoy my comeback day and um, hope you guys did too. And um, yeah, thank you. And I look forward to trading with you next week. And I um, hope you're gonna have a great weekend traders. So just enjoy your weekend. Uh, you worked hard for it, I guess. And uh, you guys on YouTube, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, if you don't mind giving us a thumb up, that would be appreciated. Thank you all. See you all next week. Have a great weekend. Bye, traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.